doing one MLB play and one WNBA play here today on Price Picks. Before I get started, link in the description below. You can set up a Price Picks there. 100% deposit match. Discord is completely free. Link in the description as well as Patreon. Link in there as well. I do post all the plays here that I'm making on Price Picks for each given sport that I do play over on Patreon. Um, again, I'm not a gambling expert, and this is not financial advice. This is simply just plays I'm personally looking at making. Hopefully, giving you guys some insight and analysis to then make your own player prop decisions here. Um, yeah, no one's pressing submit on those parlays other than yourselves. But we got the hot dogs here in the MLB, and honestly, these are all strong hot dogs. The Framber um, is a great discount here, a whole two strikeout discount. Um, I think all these these plays are strong plays in my opinion here. Obviously, going to be taking the overs on all of these. Um, so just keep that in mind. The value is just too good to not take the over and just hope uh, these guys come through for us. But I got two plays here. We have a ton of MLB games starting pretty soon. So I'm, I'm kind of honestly targeting the later games here. Um, but yeah, let's not waste any time, you guys. Let's just get right into it. Two plays, one MLB, one WNBA play today. Um, the first one is going to be Bo Bichette over one and a half total bases um, tonight against Framber Alvarez, who again is the hot dog and I do like his strikeouts. But Bo Bichette is just probably one of the most, if not the most consistent hitter in all of baseball right now. Um, two, two, four, and four total bases over his last five games. So he's cleared this in four of his last five games. We take a look at this matchup more specifically here. Bo Bichette hitting at the top, or the second in that uh, potent Blue Jays lineup here at home. It's an eight run uh, over under here. Uh, Houston's going to be one. 20 uh, minus 120 to, to win this game here but we take a look at Bo Bichette in his career versus Framber Alvarez not a huge sample size but seven plate appearances he does have three hits and one home run he's batting 429 against Framber Alvarez this season um, a left-handed pitcher here we take a look at Bo Bichette more specifically right Bo Bichette of all players in baseball with at least 45 plate appearances against left-handers he's got the second lowest strikeout percentage he only strikes out 2.1 percent of the time so Bo Bichette, we know the ball, he's going to put the ball in play here. 2.1% strikeout percentage against lefties. And his average against lefties, he has the a 13th highest batting average against lefties um, with the minimum plate appearances of at least 45 at-bats. We look here, he's batting 364 against lefties. We take a look at his splits, right? He is second in the baseball at with a 331 batting average here. But he does bat 324 against righties. Jumps up to 364 against lefties, you guys, this season. Bo Bichette here, he's on a nice little run. Um, with his total bases, you can see here he's had at least, he's hit the over in this, like I said, four of his last five, but more specifically, uh, six of his last seven games, he's hit the over on this line. Um, even dating back to like all the way down here, uh, May 23rd, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven of one, two, three, four. So 11 of, of his last 15 games, you guys, he has hit the over on this. We look at Bo Bichette's total bases over his last 20 games. He's a 65% hit rate over his last 10 games, you guys. Um, at home, let's just take a look at this. Over his last 10 games, you can see here the total bases. He's only missed three times over his last 10 games. Seven of his last 10 games, you guys, he has hit the over on this one and a half total bases line. Like I said, the second lowest strikeout percentage in all of baseball players, all the batters in baseball, he only strikes out 2.1% of the time against lefties with minimum play appearances of 45. Uh, like I said, strong history against Framber Alvarez here. Um, and then the odds for us, we're looking at minus 120, I believe, on FanDuel. Obviously, with when it comes to total bases, any player is not going to have huge, huge odds on the juice on the over. Like for a, let's just take a look at, this is an outlier, by the way, you guys. Link in the description, top of the description of this video, you can get a seven-day free trial with outlier. Yeah, I'm in my opinion, in my opinion, the best research tool um, on the market, but you can see your FanDuel minus 120. He's minus 165 on DraftKings to go over one and a half hits, runs, plus RBIs here. Um, but if we take a look, like, I think, let's see if he just has, um, like, over 0.5 singles. He's minus 200 on DraftKings, you guys. Minus 200 for Bo Bichette. He's actually minus 133 on BetMGM to go under one and a half bases. So for him to go over one and a half TB, I really like our odds here. Just absolute rake of a hitter. Um, again, only strikes at 2.1% of the time. So, I mean, we got a 98% chance he puts the ball in play. He's hitting a second in that lineup. Should get at least four at-bats tonight. I think it's a good chance for uh, Bo Bichette to hit the over on this. So that's the first play here um, for the MLB. And the second one here is going to be our wagon when it comes to the WNBA. It's going to be Candace Parker over 11.5 fantasy in the first half. I don't know why this line hasn't moved. This has a strong chance of moving, in my opinion, maybe. Um, but we just I just have to go back to this here. It's on the board at 11.5. And, and we know if you guys have been following this channel, or watching these videos this has been a wagon we've hit um 
We took this the last two times, right, for the YouTube videos in this cast for us. I think we played it on here on June 2nd when she finished with 13.9, and she just faced Connecticut um, on the road, the same exact scenario that we have tonight, and she had 19.1 fantasy in that first half. Um, obviously, this is a game. Uh, Connecticut should probably come back and make this game a little bit closer as um, Las Vegas. I mean, that game was close, but Las Vegas in that game um, where they just played, you know, Candace Parker played 23 minutes, 5 points, 3 rebounds, 4 assists, 1 steal, and 2 blocks in only 23 minutes. Played extremely well, more specifically, in that first half here. Candace Parker, um, she is averaging 13.1 minutes in the first half, right? Which is more than enough for her to clear 11.5 fantasy score. Like, she's probably well over a 1, uh, one fantasy points per minute player here. Um, we take a look at Candace Parker, like I said, uh, or more specifically, sorry, we take a look at Phoenix, or sorry, Connecticut's son, they give up the fourth most rebounds to forwards, the um, fourth most points to forwards, the uh, fourth most, uh, five, sorry, fifth most steals to forwards, uh, fifth most blocks to forwards. They just, they're getting cooked by bigs. Um, fourth most field goal attempts by forwards, the uh, fifth most field goal percentage to forward. So, I mean, I just have to go back to this at 11 and a half. I think this should be easily at 13 and a half or maybe even 12 or 13 flat. Maybe 11 and a half just presents too strong a value for a rematch here. The two top teams in the WNBA. Um, we kind of look here. You can see here this kind of matchup. Aces shoot back for back-to-back -back road sweep of the sun. Um, the Aces meet the Connecticut Sun on Thursday in Connecticut for a rematch earlier in the week. Super difficult. We know everyone in the league has to do this at some point. It's difficult playing such a good team, such a seasoned team, a veteran team on a back-to-back -back like this. The Aces beat the Sun on Tuesday night, building a 19-point lead and seeing the margin shrink to three points with four minutes to play. Um, I definitely think you can see here any road any road win is a good win against a quality team. It was a good test for us, and it will be even more so come Thursday. So I think Candace Parker is just with 11.5 fantasy score in the first half. She's been a wagon in the first half here. Cleared the over on this in four games pretty easily here. She had 19.1 against Connecticut on Tuesday. I got to go back to her here. So, Candace Parker, 11.5 fantasy score in the first half is the second play. Bobichette over 1.5 total bases. Again, I don't like this board overall uh, today really too much here, but I'm going to be playing these two plays here. Drop a like, hit that subscribe button, and as always, let's cash.